I heard this crazy story, I don't know if it's true, but it's about, yes, with you, <laughs> with Siraj. So the first time you saw the Rolling Stones, they were doing blues music at like a little, was it like a pub or a theater? What was, it, what was it? Oh, it was a place called Eel Pie Island. There was a little ballroom in Twickenham and there was 12 people there. 12 um, people? 12 people and uh, Mick's girlfriend was a girl called Chrissy Shrimpton who's the sister of the great model, Jean Shrimpton, and my girlfriend, his girlfriend, were friends. And he said, come and see my singer, and my boyfriend, he's a singer. He said, oh, then my boyfriend's a singer too. So I went over there and watched, and there was literally nobody there, and they were all sitting on stools playing, you know. But wonderful. they were doing, like, blues music? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Brian Jones was in the band then. And then within six months to a year, bash, that was it, they took off. I mean, yeah, those moments are just so cool. Like, yeah. once again, like, you busking and people not knowing and then you sitting there and not knowing, like, yeah. what that band would become, yeah. I think incredible. the blues in Britain was a big thing, so that's where, well, that's where I started as well, the playing in little clubs, playing blues stuff, because that's yeah. what we all heard. That's, it was a thing we, you know, that you got people dancing. Because it makes such yeah. an impact. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, here. Like, there's yeah. a lot of music you just listen to for fun, but not much that, I mean, feels like really moves yeah. you. Yeah, or that's what I like to listen to.